This Citadel, located in Charleston, Southern Carolina, is one of the most well-known military colleges. But does that mean they actually have their shit together? Because we're about to find out. And thanks to Business Insider, we're going to be taking a look at the first day for new freshmen, also known as Matriculation Day, which marks the beginning of the knobs, which is what they refer to the students. So let's go and see what it's all about. What Citadel Military College knobs go through on day one at the controversial school? Why is it controversial? We're going to hopefully find out right now, guys. Why are you smiling? What is funny? Heels on the line. He's, dude, this is the first the girl he's Ever seen his whole life. Blistering Saturday in August, 759 new freshmen or Don't knobs. walk like that. I need to know if this is really even a college like school. Like, do you automatically go to the military after this? The Are you in the military? Created by Citadel cadets is described as artificial stress. Go, get out of my face. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. See wit, write your see wit. Find your name, find your name, find your name, find your name. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Bro, what the f kind of stress is that, dude? You give them a book or some shit, be like, write your f name in this book the second they go to grab it you just <laughs> hurry the f up and get the gun book i need to know if these people are actually in the military or if these are just like seniors who volunteered for a position citadel <laughs> freshmen are referred to <laughs> Damn, as bro. knobs because okay, of the resemblance it. their freshly shaved heads share with a doorknob hey knob do you want to get promoted let me introduce you to my <laughs> my knob matriculation day kicks off a seven month period known as knob year by the way if you want to go to a military school and like that totally fine with me but the still gay at the end of the day like the military we do a bunch of gay shit too at the end of the day if you go and you do this shit for school good for you but if you don't go and transition to the military this shit was worthless citadel cadets are not obligated to serve in the armed forces that's gay bro honestly for like military mindset i think that is the dumbest shit that defeats the purpose because you go through boot camp like this is it you're left and you're right the people who don't stay here and are not here on the last day couldn't make it you will die if you ended up being around those people because they couldn't cut boot camp this one they're like oh they're probably not gonna make it but we're instilling military values it's like no nah, if you want to go to this school your ass is going when you're done and only about a third join the military ranks so a why third? do these young people choose this for their college experience i chose the citadel because i wanted to challenge myself no i almost served that's what he should have said that's what he's gonna turn into people are telling you what to do when to do it and like how to do it so you need um, a babysitter um i'm from california this is the type of people who join oh, um, i'm telling you right now it's my dream to come to the east coast for the college and also i wanted to join the army hey! Hey, these are the people time, you so. want to serve with. People who are just like, it was my dream to come here, and now I'm just going to commit. My, my goal is to join the army, so I'm here at... What the f*** is this place called? Citadel Military College. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hey, Guys, this reminds me of my little favorite Korean soldier, Oh, dude. Oh was like five feet tall from South Korea. He's like, I want to join American Army. I'm like, oh, I love you. His last name is literally O-H. Oh, no. <laughs> Soul leaving his eyes, bro. Deads are from underrepresented Dead in the eyes. He's tired of shit. Continued oh, oh, bruh. Do not show up high as f on the first day. Bro, I'm about to quit. I swear to God. <laughs> He's not okay and it hasn't even started. My boy is in the cloud. <laughs> Bro, he's in the clouds. He's like, Bruh. But as some of the school's characteristics some appear to schools. evolve, others remain rooted in its past. Okay. This placard honoring the Confederate General Robert E. Lee remains in the barracks. Okay, let's like clear something up really quick. All of the bases have a f history and that's fine. Let's just not follow those old f***ed up traditions and shit. I'm sorry, but I'm sick and tired of every f***ing base name getting f***ed can change just because oh that dude was a racist and he was f gay and let that shit die in the past let's just call it the base name okay because in 30 f years we're gonna fucking hate the name we changed it to again anyway so let's just not start changing names and give it a reason why okay a confederate flag hangs in the citadel's chapel protected by <laughs> south carolina's heritage act despite protests from school officials and hey. and for decades the school has been scrutinized because of allegations of racism sexism and hazing discrimination of any kind okay is completely incompatible with our core values of honor duty and respect and the sanction for hazing is expulsion. That's why we have pussies in the military now. Congratulations. The pussies can go fight in the next war if that's what we're trying to do. By the way, when we're talking about the racism, sexism, and hazing, like that sh is part of the brotherhood. It's your indoctrination into, hey, can I do all of these things and you will still protect me with your life? Yes? Okay. We can be friends.
<laughs> this shit's not okay in the civilian world, but it's okay here because we have to joke around. We have to get under each other's skins because we will see each other in a light that nobody else will. And I need to be able to depend on you and trust you and make sure you're not going to f*** me, okay? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? We Good afternoon. Day one. Do you have cocaine? <laughs> Do you need water? Sir, no, sir. While the Citadel continues you need to water? wrestle with its past, no. we saw some like, cadets good, you don't trying get in real time <laughs> to change its future. Why are Why they polishing my boy's head? Good morning, sir. Welcome to the Citadel. Each Wait, knob is assigned to a company. I need to know if these people are actually in the military or ever served. Because if they have not, this whole thing is bullshit. You can't have somebody who's never served a day in their life trying to instill and teach military values. That's not how it works by the way in case you guys didn't know this is all happening on twitch so get your mother ass over to twitch okay each knob is assigned okay. to a company oh your mommy no, daddy no, dropped them over here so cute hurry up stop lollygagging don't take forever stop right here face straight ahead see that clerk over there morton listen bro i'm not hating on you right now i'm just speaking what's coming to my head okay i get you're on cameras for business insider so shit is different i understand that so whatever i'm about to say do not take it to heart so this dude's hurry walking up. up he's looking oh. at his <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. He's looking at his feet. Right Face straight ahead. See that clerk over there? Morton, you should have been eyeballing this f from the second he walked in through the door. But you're out here looking at his god feet, not looking him in the eyes the whole time. That's weak ass sh bro. You will say, you will say ma'am, yes, ma'am, or ma'am, no, ma'am. You put your heels and toes together like this. Heel, toes apart at 45 degree angle, as I was. You will go up to her and you will address her as ma'am, yes, ma'am, or ma'am, no, ma'am. Do you understand? Yes, sir. When addressing a male cadet, you will say sir, yes, sir, or so, no, sir. Okay, listen, y'all know I have a loud projecting voice. That's one of the f god things I got from the military. If you can't f hear my voice from f up and over here on this balcony, you're f Bruh. wrong. They should be able to hear this motherfucker Bruh. across the way because that is what instills stress. They'll be like, I can't hear you. Then guess what? You better f Bruh. lock it in and listen better because you can't hear when bullets are going around. It's very f***ing difficult. That's why everyone's yelling and pissed off all the time. Sophomore cadet John Morton, who only a year ago was just beginning his knob year. Are you glad you're on the other side of this after last year? Absolutely, sir. It's a whole new experience and it feels really nice. That is like having PV2 teach a PV1. So private and private. Who the f*** are you to teach, tell, and instill anything in these f***ing people? The school is wrong for that. And I don't care if they're the help. If they're the help, you better Open stay in line and not say sh What company are you? Alpha man. Man, alpha man. There's no two working man, answers alpha here man. anymore, all right? What company are you? Delta company. Man. See, that's when you step up and be like, who the f are you talking to? What are you going to do about it? And everyone goes, oh shit, he real. Wait, none of us are actually in the military. We're not trained for this. He from the streets. See how none of that makes any f***ing sense? Because if one dude bucks up, we're all they going to do. You're supposed to be disciplined. You're going to get f***ing slept. Showed up in slides. <laughs> well, I like her though. I like her though. She's like, you shut up in slides. We're all about to pretend we're in the military. You better f act correct. The reason I have to go about this the way I do, chat, is because the people who want to join the military and get in instill the correct values and like all these things, I'm trying to project that and at least let y'all know this is, in my own personal and professional opinion, not the best way to do it. For over 150 years, 150 the Citadel years? was male only. Females weren't able to matriculate Ooh, until 1995. 19 the first female student, Shannon Faulkner, quit after only one week at the college, a decision that was openly celebrated by some male cadets. The first female cadet mm -hmm. to graduate from the Citadel was Nancy Mace, who got her diploma in 1999. She yeah. now serves as a Republican Congress yeah. representative. Yeah! Oh, she voted! So here's the thing. Y'all might be like, that one girl quit because of all the dudes in the class were making fun of her. The military is not easy, ladies and gentlemen. Think of f***ing Sparta, bro. If you're weak, you're going to get it thrown off a f***ing cliff. No mercy! The congressman lady, the reason she's where she's at is because she pushed through and fucking got after it, so she deserves to fucking be there. I don't think it's right for them to not allow females for no general reason at all. But if you don't make the cut and you can't keep up, get the fuck out. That's the only difference. Today, about 13% of Citadel cadets 13%. are female. That's what's up, girl. Table, right? get it, girl. I want to talk to somebody who was at this and then fucking went into the military after. When business Insider doing the Lord's that work. That but Business Insider, when are you going to come let me do some standards. of this shit? Stop it. Do you know where you're at, son? You're at the Citadel, at the Military College of South Carolina, the hardest military academy in the in nation. You understand? In the military, we don't say frickin', I say fuck. So already shut that butthole inside of that asshole, brother. I would not be sitting talking to this guy. I would stand up and look him directly in the fucking eye and be like, recognize where the fuck you're at. Because shit will get real, real fucking quick. You remember two years ago what it was like for you to be on the other side of the table? 
It was terrifying. But I would would not be the same person if it was not for this school. This oh, can God. be. I mean, I've seen people come through here who I thought would never make it, maybe at first glance, end up being the biggest studs in their company. Props to Temple right now. You see how Temple is articulating to the camera how things are supposed to be and he's talking like a normal fucking human being? That's how he should be talking to every single fucking person who comes up to this desk. Clear, calm, and direct. And then the second they fuck up, you start to fuck Turn it up. Yeah, right now, here, the, how he's articulating everything? Perfect, dude. Temple stuff. is no doubt a stud. He's just, I think he's young in his leadership. Upperclassmen issue PT or physical training uniforms to the knobs. You can put this in there when you're ready. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. I think you might be yes, one to be a motivational speaker the way you freaking sound off. Bro, are you drunk? You motivate me. Did you forget your belt this morning? Yes, sir. Man. Don't look at him. Oh my God, bro, this should be illegal. One size bigger. Why are you doing this to yourself? You must have to piss or shit because your bladder is f***ing getting pressed on right now by this God button. See how this dude's just like, what the f*** you look like sh You need to figure, that's, that's a good tone because they, they start to instill this stress and then they're like, oh f And the best part about it is no yelling has started so they know it can only get worse from having this cool, calm and collected voice. How about you grab it now? Sir, yes sir, right? Sir, yes sir. Man, you got this figured out. I like this dude! Trying to like introduce them to the system. You kind of like, you want to razzle them a little Acclimate. bit so they're under that stress now. So they actually can perform. And they're under like a lot of stress. They Bro actually have some Brockle like, Bank! You know, we'll call you Nickelback. Like, hey, he's got it. Cause he's also not being a <laughs> with the no superiority what, complex what, either. He's just slowly um, introducing him to just the shit talking. The, hey, you're f***ed up. un yourself right now. The college was founded in 1842 to defend the city of Charleston against a potential slave insurrection. Bro, Slaves, I'm so curious fact, what it smelled like the back Citadel then. I bet during it the 19th like century. Shit. Stings the nostrils. More than a century later, the first black cadet matriculated at the Citadel in 1966. Yeah. A former Citadel cadet has sued the school, hazing, beatings, and repeated trips to the hospital. There the is a limit to hazing. Been... For those of you who are like, Nico's a piece of shit. Don't get me wrong. Racism is a thing 100% fucking exists. So does sexism and overboard hazing. 100% those things exist. But the second you fail a dude for doing push-ups and he just so happens to be black and then you start calling that racism, you're a piece of shit because you're taking away from the people who are actually experiencing severe racism. You just dilute this pool of people who need actual help and the racist pieces of shit who need to be fucked up. Along with a football coach who used the word monkey to describe a black player. <laughs> Was it in good faith, though? Oh. I'm sure y'all heard about my boy Ware. Ware is the biggest, buffest, dopest black guy that I know. Ware, mother silverback gorilla, bro. He a savage. Oh, uh, Nico, that's fucked up. You just called him a fucking... No, I called him a mother silverback gorilla, bro. He a real life your ass up. Citadel's chief inclusive excellence officer, Robert Pickering, graduated from the college in 1994. 94, Did baby. say that the Citadel is an inclusive place? I would uh, say that it is, uh, and I'm speaking from- You wanna know why this shit's probably happening? It's because you have kids who are like in their second year of school year being in charge of the culture, freshmen and can just shitting on them. That's the problem. They should have no voice. Unless you're a senior or actually in the military, all the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors should have no say in anything, and they should be treated equally. The juniors and the sophomores treated equally. Equal pieces of shit. A new generation of black cadets serve as leaders in the Corps. Okay. So being here as an African-American student is just like any other cadet. I don't like this. Chad, I gotta be honest, Business Insider, I don't like this. We don't do this in the military. You, you now, you, you, you hyping up the black community individually, and you're kind of just shitting on the school at this point about the racism shit. In the military, we do not segregate like this. Do not f do it. I think it is very, very important that we get more cadets on campus to expose our diversity. Get Don't the think London that, look. you know, you're going to come here and going to get harassed <laughs> or going to get bothered with. No, absolutely not. And run it back. Don't think that, you know, you're going to come here and going to get harassed or going to get bothered with. You are going to get harassed. You are going to get f***ed with. People are going to say a bunch of stupid shit about you. Welcome to the military. And those people who talk the most shit, more than likely, honestly, care the most about you. It's all just a test, people. Don't be a the whole purpose of the least, thing is know, to we, go we through the struggle bus. Bro, he about to give him the mean ass bow cut. God damn. My boy looking like the most bestest Shaolin monk I've ever seen in my whole life, baby. He's ready to watch. I hope he goes through and actually joins the military, this dude. He's the only one who said he actually wanted to join the army. What the f is this? Right. Head, head polishing? What are you doing exactly? 
I'm just swiping the knobs heads down and then as I do that, I sort of just ask them why they came here. I kind of want to give them an opportunity to sort of tell me that. Fair enough. So they can sort of ask themselves that, you know. You speak Japanese? Dude, I'm fucking Korean, bro. <laughs> Let me give y'all a tip really quick. At least for basic training, okay? For real life military boot camp, do not speak another fucking language other than God English, okay? You will put a target on your back immediately. You go in the military, primary language is English. When you go into firefights, you do all these things. All gonna be in fucking English. And the drill instructors, drill sergeants, whoever are gonna try and instill that in you, okay? So, the second you try doing anything cool or you try responding in another language and you say something in, like you said, Japanese, for instance, you may get gripped up so fucking hard by a drill instructor or something like that. And they'll be like, what the fuck are you saying? Are you talking shit? about me are you telling me i'm a fucking piece of shit? And they're like no joel sergeant it's like how the fuck would i know if you're not communicating with me effectively in english fuck you do push-ups now you think that probably gave him some comfort definitely yeah why are we comforting him uh, totally like yeah. opposite of what we're supposed to be doing okay there's asian culture in the company you know it's better to show them that make them feel more at home guess what fuck your home you're not home right now you're at the fucking citadel none of that it matters. All you got is the person to your left and your right to draw strength from. You should not be feeling comfort. What did that mean to you to have someone speak to you in Japanese? It kind of break my nerve because um, it's a familiar language that I speak with my family. It feel very safe and I'm um, familiar. So that make you feel better? Yes, sir. Great. So when the shots are, are flying and it's actually a super serious situation, maybe they'll talk Japanese and feel safe. And then, you know, everyone around them, their friends and shit will die, you know, because they feel safe. No, it's not how it works. According to the Citadel, Matsuda is no longer enrolled at the school and it wouldn't offer any further explanation as to why he left. Uh, it happens though. This shit ain't for everybody. He felt comfort in the one fucking dude who spoke Japanese and then soldiers and, and service members across the board who are completely new fall into this mentality of, oh, it's like that here. Now, if they're not experiencing that level of comfort, they no longer accept it and see everything as bad, so they leave. It's honestly not fair to him because immediately hot out the gate, it should have been a shit show. He should have made a single friend. Uh, we want people to remember that. Why? Why did you come here? You came here for a reason and you are here for that. Remember that when you feel like you're going to quit. Yeah, I almost quit on my third days, day of basic training in boot camp. You guys haven't seen the uh, army boot camp video. I kind of talked about everybody. For these knobs, with matriculation day behind them, they've taken their first step okay. in the grueling journey they must endure before officially joining the Corps of Cadets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What y'all think, chat? I just don't think they're getting the right people right off the bat just because it's like, you don't have to join the military. Like, nah, f no. Shout out Business Insider for doing the work. But on the school, the school should be doing shit to be like, treat them like this and like this. But it's only going to be like seniors and real military personnel. Outside of that, y'all will talk cool, calm, and collected to them. I, I think it's the school's fault for the lack of like discipline, instruction, and all these other things. But yeah. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs>